Money for a federal loan program to help small businesses has been replenished after the program quickly reached its $349 billion cap earlier this month. As Kaylin Hagwood reports, some businesses left waiting in line for the money may be forced to wait a little longer as program leaders work to process the influx loans. That money is probably already earmarked, been earmarked and allocated. If not, it will be in the next 24 hours. A rocky start and now the potential of another quick halt to the federal loan program meant to help small businesses. According to the Small Business Administration, the popular Paycheck Protection Program supported more than 1.6 million small shops before running out of funds. On Monday, the money returned, and so did the representatives for thousands of businesses in need, causing the online system to crash. Chris Hardy leads Sumter's Chamber of Commerce. The, the website was, uh, was down pretty quick. It got overwhelmed and overloaded pretty quick. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of expected that. Now they're expecting another grim possibility. This round of funding could run out shortly as well. Because there were so many that were rolled over from the first phase that they were given priority and in the, already in the queue. So the majority of those applications were going to probably take up the majority of the money that was allocated. Boundary Thomas has been waiting in line, so to speak, since the first week of April to help sustain her cleaning service. We still want to be able to have our workers, you know, employ because they have families as well. So that's pretty much our concern. For now, she's leaning on faith and praying for a positive outcome. Even though our revenue has gone down, it's just, you know, just having having the faith that we have and knowing that either way we'll be okay. Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. Well, some Midlands communities are offering programs to assist small businesses through this crisis. Hardy added that they're in discussions to try to offer small business loan programs to people in Sumter and working with local leaders to try and make that happen.